well, well, well. I know, it's been, like, listen, thank you for your patience. Y yeah, I know, see, Virgo season, you guys were up first, and now Libra's up first, and it was like you kind of got tossed back into that cycle, so thank you for your patience. There will be a Virgo we a video every single week, I promise you. Virgos who are just arriving, well, Virgos, this is your weekly or oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. That's me. This is my channel. If this is your first time arriving, welcome. Please do click subscribe, you know, then you and, and, and then click that bell so you know when I go live and upload all that other content. Um, that'll be awesome. Um, also, if you are on a platform that allows for commercials, there's going to be a commercial coming up in a couple of seconds. I thank you for your patience and your support of the channel by just letting it roll. Like, that's all you got to do. I mean, you can fucking take a pee or go get a snack or something. <laughs> you know, like, who cares? But do whatever you got to do. But it really does help uh, support the, the channel. So I appreciate your patience. Um, that'll be coming up in about, oh, right now. Now, if you're just coming back and you didn't, that's not the case. Well, thank you so much for that <laughs> patience and that awkward pause. And for those of you who did have to sit through a commercial, once again, thank you so much uh, for supporting the channel by allowing that commercial to roll. Now there will be no more commercials, no more interruptions, and without further delay, Virgo, this is your weekly reading for October 2nd through the 9th, 2019. We start here with Oracle cards, that's what I'm shuffling right now. And then over on Vimeo, we do a tarot full tarot card reading and a romance, romance uh, reading. That's the link below. Virgo, 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 Ooh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Wow, no cards out yet. Virgo. There's something going on with you guys. I know that there's something going on with you guys. There's something that, it, it, maybe there's just a bit of, it, um, that, that it feels that it feels that it has been delayed. A little bit of impatience going on. Like you need to know the progress on something. Owl spirit, you see clearly now, tend to the small things. Ooh. Now, first of all, what you have to understand is owls prey on mice. So, you've definitely got something in your sights that you want bad. What I can say is, Virgo, you are hungry. You are hungry for it, or somebody is hungry for you. You're actually the earth sign. This is an air sign. You could be uh, dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or you could just be dealing with something that has to do with justice. It has to do with a higher power. It has to do with a higher authority, some sort of institution. You could be waiting for money to come in. You could be waiting for a job offer to come in. This is something that you, but, but it's something that you're tired of waiting for. <laughs> Leos were very impatient too, so it must be something with a summer energies where it's just like when is when are things going to take off what i'm saying right now is that virgos this week you're going to see little tidbits of what that is trickling in but you have definitely whatever that is but but definitely it's almost like you can sense or feel that somebody is paying attention to you that somebody is interested in you that somebody um, but they're almost like stalking you. That's what I want to say. You could have a, you could have a cold hard stalker on your, on your tail, Virgo. Really. Uh, aside, it, it may not be a stalker. If you've applied for a job, for example, they could be checking out your, your social media profiles and things like things of that nature, which could be quite irritating and feel a little bit invasive, which is why you're feeling like these eyes on you. But there's definitely somebody or something or you are, you could flip their energies around. You could be the one that is looking into somebody else, like doing some research and trying to find out the goods on um, something that has piqued your interest. Uh, what kind of interest that is? Well, this is a general reading. Uh, for those specifics, there's a tarot card reading and romance reading. No, I'm, I'm just fucking with you, Virgo. Bottom line is we're going to get, we're going to get more into it. But what I, I can see from these cards is that 
this week, whatever you've been looking into or whoever's been looking into you, they're going to get some sort of tidbit, some sort of evidence. They're going to see something, <clears throat> some sort of truth. They're going to see something that they were looking for. So whether that is, um, yeah, almost like illumination, um, something becomes very, very clear to you that you were concerned with. Yeah. And a little, a little tidbit of information. And it could be that you had to look really closely, maybe look around in the dark because owls can see in the dark. <laughs> in other words, yeah, in other words, not stalking, but investigating. There is some investigating going on. People looking for, people looking for something that isn't easy to be seen, isn't easily seen, isn't, isn't easily understood. Virgo, this could be you. This could be somebody realizing your true nature or a side of yourself that you don't really show people. This could be you opening up in some way or somebody getting a better perspective about who you are and how you feel inside. This could be, but there is this energy. I can't ignore it. This predatory energy. Predatory because owls eat mice, right? You see clearly now, tends to the small things. This could also be you realizing um, that where your energy and where your attention has been, has been distracting to the things that are most important in your life. But to a Virgo, honestly, small things are always important. You know, it's home, it's family, it's the schedule for the, it's the kids' lunches being all lined up for the next, you know, the, um, yeah, it's like the family dinners planned for the next week. Virgos are always tending to the small things. Always. And it's almost like, so that, that to me is like, rope for you. It's like, no, that it, it, it's rope for you. It's standard for you. <sighs> you know that somebody's watching you. And I don't, I don't mean this in a sense. I do mean this is it, it almost like somebody making an inquiry or you making inquiries. And it's not necessarily somebody that you're in love with. It could be somebody that you were very suspecting of, suspicious of, or like I said, somebody inquiring about your qualifications if you had applied for a job. So understand that this week, um, I would just watch what I post on social media. I would just watch what I have visible, made visible to the general public because there is definitely somebody doing their research on you. And it is for their own knowledge and their own wisdom to illuminate themselves, not necessarily to help you out. They're, they're, in other words, it's predatory. Owls feed on mice. If these two cards hadn't come out, it's almost like, you know, you, yeah, if these two cards hadn't come out together, it's like you've been spotted, Virgo. You've been spotted by somebody who is definitely hungry for you or hungry for information on you. If that makes any kind of sense to you guys, ooh, I don't know. I, this is this a thing? I feel a little bit of excitement in you. That's the energy I feel. But I also don't necessarily like the predatory energy. Now, maybe it's you. You've got somebody in your sights. And you think, oh, I have them. It's almost like your target, you're on target this week. But also, like, like what are you targeting? And do you really want to be attracted to something that would be food for you as opposed to, you know, something of more sustenance? Because a mouse isn't going to feed you for very long. That's definitely what I want to say. I mean, it's food for now, for now, definitely. But, you know, if you've ever been into a science lab, if you ever took in any kind of science class and you ever done the owl pellets, what do they what do they always find in the owl, owl pellets or owl, owl poo and what do they always find in owl pellets bones of mice bones of mice and smaller birds like literally this is somebody who would want to eat you up and shit you out and i feel like maybe just maybe there is that insight this week virgo that you know that that's what they're about you understand them now like you see clearly about what their intent for you is and you there are there there is still some of you who are excited by this attention i'm i'm not gonna i'm not like pulling what what do you want me to put you know it you know who you are 
But I, you know, I would caution against being excited against about that kind of attention because it is exploitive. You know, it is, it is not something that you can necessarily control or duck away from if you try. Also, watch out for traps. Watch out for people who are setting mice and traps for you. It's almost like there are these little tidbits, these, this little, these little pieces of information might be too, have been too easy for you to get. And I feel that there's almost this, because owls are wisdom as well. But you're the mouse energy. And that's why I think it's somebody, somebody thinks they have one up on you, Virgo. Somebody thinks that they have information on you that they can use for their own nourishment. Not necessarily, definitely not for you or to help you out. So I would definitely watch your back this week, Virgo. Hmm. That's intriguing, 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 intriguing. Air sign could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but it's definitely somebody that feels, well, they're, they're, they're smart, bottom line, that's true. They're smart. They may be somebody trying to give you advice because they've spotted something that you have overlooked. And their keen eyes are trying to tell you the truth. They're trying to let you listen to something that you might have overlooked. Something that you might have overlooked and you don't want to necessarily look at. You might have overlooked it on purpose. And so if you get this kind of advice, the, the, the message or the, um, the advice for you is to take the advice. To listen to the advice. And hopefully you understand that it's there to help you. More on this subject, please, for Virgo. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. There's part of you that's, see, it's almost like your eye is dilated. Very, very, uh, very, uh, like, a, like you can feel it. You could feel their eyes on you, but it's not making you feel so comfortable. It's not making you, and it shouldn't make you feel comfortable because when an owl sets his eyes on a mouse, it's not comfort. It's not comfortable. Overcome any obstacle. <sighs> Virgo, thank God. So this is, you know, uh, this could be Taurus energy too. Mess with the bull, get the horns. Somebody could be fucking around with somebody who's very important to you. I'll attach the Taurus card right above. So that you can, uh, so you can watch it. Um, this could be somebody, this could just, in other words, somebody could be coming in to protect you, stand up for you, or defend you this week, Virgo. Somebody who clearly loves you and has that, look at, look at that little crown on their head. They're so cute. Somebody who clearly loves you. Somebody who will definitely come to your defense this week because yes, Owl can see the mouse in the dark, but a rhino, a rhino could protect you, right? Um, uh, like a, an owl couldn't dive bomb a rhino. So what they, this person would be doing was showing up to protect you, to defend, to, to ward away anything that would be trying to harm you or hurt you. This could also be some sort, this is also a very grounded energy, right? So let's say this. Let's say this, Virgo, if you have a choice between an air sign and an earth sign, you damn well better choose that earth sign because that air sign wants to eat you up. Now that might sound exciting for a second, but it's the earth sign that's going to give you the stability and love and protection. Like this, this is the energy I have to, I have to preach. I know. I know. You're like, please, Michelle. This is the energy of somebody who actually loves you. And this is the energy of somebody who just wants to fuck you. Okay? They're a predator. And I talk about this all the time. If you are in a bar, and a lot of times it's because our, our, our media, our mainstream media romanticizes the hunt. Being caught. You know, it, 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 it. You know, dogs like to chase cats type of thing. Yeah, dogs like to chase cats to eat them, right? It's like if a man is a dog and the woman is a cat, they like to chase cats to eat them because they're natural, they would be natural prey, 
okay? It is not the same thing. So this Virgo is knowing the difference between somebody who really cares about you and wants the best for you and somebody who's just there to eat you up and shit you out a couple of days later so that eighth grade students can, you know, study your poo. You know what I'm saying? It's like, really? It's knowing the difference between these two qualities. I can feel a lot of excitement in you when it comes to that owl energy because it's beautiful, because it's wise, because it's regal, because it's almost magical. And maybe, but, but that is not what's going to be lasting, right? It's not going to sustain you and it's certainly not going to protect you. It's actually going to put you in harm's way because owls eat mice. Rhinos are vegans. They're vegetarians. They're no, they're vegans. They don't eat. They don't. They just eat. They're uh, they're um, herbivores. They just eat like grass and shit. Like that's what. So they are in no way, shape, or form going to pose any threat to you. In fact, what they'll do is be a wonderful first line of defense toward your safety. This could be a Taurus or some sort of earth grounded energy, Taurus Capricorn or another Virgo coming in to defend you or give you advice, offer you advice or offer you a way forward or, it's, or no, I feel more protection from, more protection from this more excitable energy, this more air energy. Let me show you the cards. Okay, Virgo, here we go. So you see this very clearly, right? These are the choices that you have. And listen, because you, and I feel that you are naturally drawn to, like you're, like you're pointed in the direction of the, of the rhino. So you know what the better choice is. Okay? But, you're dead up deer in headlights for this beautiful, beautiful owl. Look at how fucking spectacular that thing is. It's gorgeous. Like we get why it's hypnotized you. That's not what we're saying. I'm not saying, I'm saying, I get why it's hypnotized you. But also understand it hypnotizes you to eat you alive. This a little bit more subdued energy, right? Not as attractive, not regal, even though he does have a little crown. See, see, he's regal. He, listen, this is just a more subdued energy, an energy of not bragging about shit. This adornment around Rhino's neck is basically put there as a reward. It's like a wreath, a celebration of what it is. It's a, it's a demonstration of the beauty that it has inside. See the little angel wings? This is unexpected beauty. Beauty that's not as easily seen. And it's like, it's like, yes, it's almost like even your bodies are in the same position. This would be a better partner for you. But this is who's hypnotized you. Virgo, if you are caught between two lovers, that's the name of the video, by the way. If you are caught between, <laughs> if you are caught between two um, choices, it could just be that, you know, you could be a Virgo that, that's like, girl, I'm working on my career, please. Okay. If you are caught between two choices, let's put it that way. Caught between two choices, the spectacular one, the beautiful one, the one that is naturally just so much more attractive. And the stable one, the constant one, the loving one. I always say, when you walk into the bar, it's not the person who, like I, like I was saying before, we have taught people, almost programmed people to think that that rush of emotions, that heart beating fast, heart palpitations, eyes dilated, that all of that stuff means that you're falling in love. That's bullshit. That's what happens when you are prey that has picked up on the presence of a predator. Okay? You know what happens when you fall in love? You get relaxed, at ease, 
comfort in. You can tell you're in the presence of love because you don't feel, you feel safe. You feel protected. You feel like you can exhale and fall asleep next to them because they're going to be there in the morning, number one. And number two, they've got your back through the night. So, <laughs> Virgo, you are caught between two choices. And it's going to depend on which choice you make. It's going to depend on just how wise you are. And really how much you not only respect yourself, but what you want out of life. What do you really want? Do you want the excitement? Do you want the adventure? Do you want the risk? Because some of you, I have this intense feeling that some of you want the risk. You love that heart racing fast. It's almost like that's what you're addicted to. You, you want it. It's exciting. And it, it, makes, you, it makes you wet. It's intense. It, it, it's, it's, it's energizing. But is this... Because what I know for sure is this per these are two different people. This is not one person. You're not finding both in either of them. So maybe you actually have this third option down here, which is not did not come out, which is wait for somebody that does makes you feel both ways. Or wait for, wait for an opportunity, opportunity that makes you feel both ways. But most definitely, you may not have a chance to wait. Because this mouse is already in the sight of this owl. Somebody has already got their eyes on you. Now, from the other perspective, you could have your eyes on somebody. And no matter what. No matter what, you're going you're gonna to make it happen. Whoever, if, if you are the predator, Virgo, if you're the one that has somebody in your sight, then no matter what, this is your earth energy coming through. No matter what, you are going to make it happen. You are not going to give up. And you have decided on them. Or decided on the opportunity you were going to make it work. And you will literally you are going to. It's not only a decision. It's an energy. Which tells me it's going to come to fruition. So if you are looking. If you are working on something. If you have invested a lot of your time. And a lot of your energy. And effort. Maybe not into a someone. But a something. It's coming to fruition. This week. You'll be recognized. For the work that you've done. You'll see, in other words, this is a week of a major breakthrough, major breakthrough if you're, if you're this energy, if you're the wise old owl who's not looking to, you know, hunt any small mice, but he, you know, you've gained all the wisdom, you've spent the time, you've put in the, you've got the education, it's there, it's all yours, you're the guru, you can see in the dark. See right through and focus on, you're focused on exactly what you want. I'm telling you right now, if this is your energy, you're going to get your mouse. You will be very, very happy with the outcome this week, Virgo. So that's two different potential readings for you guys. I'm going to go more into detail. Now, what this is, it could be, it could be, could be your work, it could be both for you, could be one or the other. I'm moving over to Vimeo to go into detail as to what this situation is and the ultimate outcome with tarot, as well as reading this romance reading. If I don't see you over there, have a great week. And please leave your comments below because I'm really nosy and I want to know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.